Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com and your weather authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Tuesday morning forecast update. The heat continues to build here. We're kind of closing in on the first day of fall, which is Thursday, but between now and then, the temperature is going to build eventually Thursday, which is our first day of fall there. Uh, could wind up close to 100 degrees, so we're getting some of that midsummer heat that triggered a lot of heat advisories. We do not have a heat advisory today, but I'll tell you, uh, with the high humidity, we are coming close so we'll uh, have a breakdown of that for you in just a moment a little bit of patchy fog this morning where temperatures are in the 60s so uh, Natchitoches especially uh, as well as southern Arkansas may have a bit of fog to start out the morning but we should wind up uh, close to 70 degrees at sunrise so we've got a few hours of at least comfortable weather early this morning but the heat and humidity build quickly today we should wind up uh, in the mid 90s in all locations this afternoon and the dew point temperatures back to about 70 degrees that's where we were yesterday so the humidity is still in that uh, kind of steamy to humid category here and if you get a temperature in the mid 90s and you factor in a uh, dew point temperature today that is uh, close to about 70 degrees or so you will get a feels like or a heat index that will be close to uh, about 103 degrees this afternoon again 105 is the uh, criteria for a heat advisory so I mentioned we're close definitely some dangerous heat today so if you are working outside just make sure you have plenty of water and uh, try to seek some shade in the air conditioning as much as possible today just to try to keep yourself cooler and that will basically be the rule for the next few days here high pressure continues to settle down into the uh, Arkletex region here uh, a long ways off from our next cold front probably not coming in until uh, maybe next uh, Sunday or Monday and you can see this ridge of high pressure continuing uh, to build over the the Arkletex here which is keeping all the rain all the cooler temperatures up to the north but uh, again eventually we will see some cool air take over next week so unlike the uh, early summer months when we knew the heat was sticking around for uh, several months we don't have to wait uh, that long we'll just have to wait a few more days here but expect it will stay hot through the upcoming weekend so there's a look at future casts today it does show uh, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies we had a few rain showers yesterday uh, close to the region we may have had some rain that fell in a few locations but it does look like we will uh, stay dry throughout the day today and you can see the uh, check of the tropics here as well wanted to give you an update on that of course we have uh, hurricane fiona which is the first uh, major hurricane of the uh, of the year here which is out in the atlantic ocean but there is another disturbance out there we wanted to keep an eye on again things are uh, quiet in the gulf of mexico there's fiona which is headed to the north and uh, will not be any kind of threat to the mainland united states or the gulf of mexico but we've got another wave that's developing here and uh, you can see this one will stay lower in the caribbean and there's a lot of the forecast models kind of show this moving up into the gulf of mexico at the end of the month so we're still about 10 days away from uh, this thing nearing the Gulf or nearing any kind of uh, land in the United States. But right now the models are showing some development with this, so it is something we are going to have to keep an eye on uh, for the next week or so. Again, we haven't really had that uh, scare in the tropics in the Gulf of Mexico yet this season, but this could very well uh, be our first disturbance that maybe uh, we have to keep a very close eye on, especially as we get into next week. But again, right now, uh, nothing that would cause us any concern. Just something we are going to be watching for you. Got a long term here and a look at your seven day forecast which uh, shows the temperatures maybe close to 100 by Thursday but the heat should ease uh, just a few degrees this weekend and we have that cold front coming through on Sunday unfortunately it won't be much rain with that front but the front will bring some cooler air we should have uh, more comfortable weather highs in the 80s much lower humidity expected for much of next week